Trading success is a journey that demands time, effort and commitment. Are you ready to step up? Hey there, Tom here from FibonaciTraders.com here with the Daily Market Recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends. Let's see the charts. With CPI numbers coming up tomorrow, 8.30 Eastern Time, not much of a price action today on the SPY. Doji indecision, not surprising, but holding above the 409. 412 to the upside, let's see how market will react to the CPI numbers. And it doesn't matter if the numbers are good or bad. All that matters is how market will decide. Follow price, use levels and trend lines to manage risk. This is all we have full control of. Nothing more, nothing less. QQQ, second day in a row. Inside candle, indecision. 313 to the downside, 321 to the upside. Breaking below the 313.77, we have this gap over here that will get filled. 80% chance. Above 330, 3.21. And we are going to the 3.30, maybe together with this white trend line. IWM, doji, indecision. Basically, IWM is moving sideways between the 170 and the 178 since middle of March. So on the IWM, we are waiting for some kind of a movement to the upside towards this red trend line or to the downside towards the 165 and this green trend line. Dow Jones, doji, indecision, but let's draw everything once again, clear the chart. And now we can clearly see Fibonacci is the true support resistance for price action together with trend lines now let's see this trend line together with the 337 to the upside next will be 343 breaking below the 333 we have all Fibonacci levels for future support follow price use levels and trend lines to manage risk and Bitcoin another great example of why Trend lines are the true support resistance for price action. If you follow me on Twitter and you saw previous videos, you know these trend lines. We drew them, some of them a few weeks ago, some of them a few days ago, and here we are. Trend lines are the true support resistance. Now this trend line is resistance. We might get some kind of a pullback towards this trend line that needs to hold as a support because it was a very tough resistance. Ethereum, back below this red trend line, 1930, strong resistance. Now, 1800 needs to hold, otherwise we have a double top scenario here that will get validate once 1800 will break to the downside. Then all we need to do Fibonacci next will be 1700 and maybe all the way back to this white trend line. Master MSTR micro strategy gapping up above the 312. 312 was a very important level of support and resistance throughout 2022 and beginning of 23. We have a slight gap over here that will get filled, it's a matter of time, 80% chance. So we have Fibonacci levels to the downside for future support and Fibonacci levels to the upside, future potential resistance. Use them to manage risk because the only thing as traders we have full control of is risk management. Mara, same thing, 950, the 9 and the 950 was a very important level of support during 2022. Then it became resistance. Now breaking up and above 
let's see continuation towards the 11.30 and maybe all the way to 14, 14, look left, tough resistance, riot, same thing, breaking above the 10, 14, very strong two days for riot, next, in my opinion, and it's only my opinion, 1370 and the 1530 all this area is the next resistance for riot and it's only my opinion do your own due diligence always do your own due diligence follow others to get ideas to learn to educate yourself but in the end of the day it's up to you no one will take care about your money or your trading except you so educate yourself and if you want to be able to take your trading journey to the highest level and be able to trade forex crypto stocks etfs commodities you only need one program the one-on-one -on -one live mentorship program or the pre-recorded, same program, pre-recorded, six lessons, six hours, 49 lessons. My promise to you, by the end of both programs, you choose your own program, but in the end of both programs, you will have all the technical tools and more important, you will have the mental tools to become your own indicator. We work very hard on the mental side because psychology behind trading is 90% of trading. Apple uptrend until proven otherwise since January is low. We have higher highs, higher lows. Let's see how market will react to CPI numbers. Bad reaction, 157 needs to hold. It was a very tough resistance. So it will need to hold and act as a strong support. Otherwise, we are going back to 150. Good reaction. This trend line will get retested as resistance. But maybe four time, fifth time, we're going towards 180. Tesla. Bulls are struggling and holding with all they have to keep up and above 184 and 176 because they know if 176 will break to the downside this gap will get filled 176 very strong support over here over here and now it needs to act once again a support because once again if this 176 will break to the downside most probably this gap will get filled amazon uptrend until proven otherwise we have trend lines to help us to identify the higher lows trend lines to identify the higher highs uptrend until proven otherwise so if you are not long yet on Amazon, I would wait to see how market will react for CPI. I would like to see a bounce up above the 102 area. Then we can take long and use this trend line and Fibonacci levels to manage our risk. Breaking down and under this trend line, 96, in my opinion, will be next because it was a very important level of support and resistance since November of 2022. AMD, trend lines, let's clean the chart, trend lines, trend line and trend line, true support resistance for price action. Now we can take Fibonacci to help us to identify support and resistance. 96 97 to the upside from support now resistance if you're not long yet on amd i would wait above 96 20 short below 91 and then we have trend line and all 
Fibonacci to the downside. This is my opinion only. Always do your own due diligence. Never follow blindly anyone on social media. Paid or free services. Your starting point should be that no one knows better than you. Once you educate yourself, you can understand in-depth candlestick analysis and the strong relationship with trend lines and Fibonacci. Let's clean the chart. Swing low, swing high. 280 to the upside, 267 to the downside needs to hold. Short, below, long continuation, above 280. Take under consideration this red trend line that goes all the way back to September 2022, holding as a tough resistance for the higher highs. Microsoft, 281, holding strong, 292, together with this red trend line, strong resistance. Short, below, going to close this gap over here, then 273 needs to hold, otherwise maybe we will go and retest this trend line. Long? I would wait for a close above 293 and maybe wait a day or two close above this red trend line. Google? Uptrend until proven otherwise. 104 holding. It was resistance. Resistance now acting as support. Short below. Long. If you're not long yet on Google, as we identified Google this double bottom a few weeks ago, we took the long position. We got out somewhere over here. If my memory is good. We got out somewhere here and now we are waiting for continuation above the 110. Meta, very tough price action to trade on Meta. If you are not long yet, I would wait for continuation above the 216 and maybe above this red trend line, this red trend line from support. Now resistance. So if you're not long yet on Meta, wait for a break above 217, short below 206. All depends on the CPI numbers tomorrow. It all depends on the market reaction to CPI numbers. If 206 will fail to hold, this gap will get filled and maybe this gap will get filled. But we have also this big black hole at the 153. Let me know in the comments below what do you think? Will Meta fill this gap anytime soon? And when I mean anytime soon, I mean during 2023. Will Meta fill this gap during May 2023? Let me know in the comments below what do you think? Very interesting. This gap. We know that more than 80% of all gaps will get filled throughout time. And this one is a big one. And gaps are like magnets to price action. And it doesn't matter if it's Forex, crypto, ETFs, commodities. Everything is the same. Price action, aka candlestick analysis, the relationship with Fibonacci levels, trend lines and gaps. No other indicators are needed, not even volume, because everything, including volume, follow price. So if everything follows price, we can educate ourselves to be our own indicators. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends will be much appreciated. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources. Until the next video, stay safe.